Hey everybody, it's uh, Saturday afternoon, taking a break uh, from uh, from football. It's halftime of the uh, uh, Auburn-Missouri game, the SEC Championship. Hell of a game, hell of a game. 28-27, um, Auburn's up. Uh, just a slugfest, that's for sure. Great game. Um, I'm hoping the second half is as good. Um, if you watched the game, you saw, saw a really good game. Uh, if you're watching this video and you didn't uh, didn't watch the game, you missed a hell of a game. So uh, today I'm going to do one I've been sitting on for a while. Uh, I mentioned the other day. Uh, let me show it again. I picked up a. This just appeared on our shelves. So uh, from Fuller's, a sort of a vertical of uh, the vintage ale. Uh, this one's got the. Uh, 2009, 2011, 2012, 2013. I've been sitting on this uh, 2011 bottle for, well, since 2011 probably. And uh, so I figured as long as I got another one, I will uh, I will give this a try. Uh, this technically, I guess, is an old ale. 8.5% uh, ABV. Uh, from the website, it says vintage ale is a... Truly distinguished bottle conditioned ale crafted by Fuller's head brewer John Keeling. Each vintage is a blend of that year's finest malts and hops, and of course our unique yeast, creating a unique limited edition brew. They use unique twice in the same sentence. Bottle conditioning means that a little yeast is left in the bottle after bottling, which will mature slowly over time like a fine wine or whiskey. Well beyond the best before date that we are obliged to state, and we think it should re be read best after. Uh, let's see what they got on here. Uh, best before the end of uh, 2014. So uh, probably got another year to go anyway uh, from a 2011. So that they probably give it three three years. I think this is a winter seasonal. It says uh, bottles of old vintage ales are very hard, now very hard to, hard to come by, but the brewery shop in Chiswick has all available editions. And I think they started this in 1997, so if they got them clear back to 97, that's pretty good. Of course, they get, I'm sure they get pricier the, the older they are. Um, and the thing I like about the website, they have tasty notes when, the, when it was first bottled. Um, from this one, it says Vintage Ale 20, 2011. Early tasting of the beer as recently bottled has been most encouraging. An opening fruit of aroma of... Maraschino cherries is underlaid with some mandarin orange notes. These are carried through to the initial palate before being enhanced with a fruit, malt, and alcohol warming after palate. Already this beer could be drunk, but we expect it will continue to develop in a, into another class, classic Fuller's Vintage. So, let's see how this, uh, after two years, this um, Fuller's Vintage has, 2011 Fuller's Vintage has, has developed. Um, as you see, can saw in the initial picture, they all come boxed. A lot of smoke. A little bit of a hiss. I'm going to seal this up. I'm going to get back to the game. Back to the second half of the game, that's for sure. Uh, we've got a... Okay, we've got a... Oh, uh, maybe a finger of a really fluffy looking... Uh, uh, slightly off-white head, uh, almost cream-colored uh, eggshell, uh, kind of a reddish amber, amber-colored, fairly clear. I don't see for being bottled conditioned. I don't see. Uh, I may see. I think I may see a few, few chunkies floating in there, but not much. It's fairly. There's a little haze to it, but it's fairly clear for uh, for a bottle-conditioned beer. So let's get a nose on it. Well, that smells good. Um, getting toffee right up front. Um, getting some of that orange. Definitely getting the yeast. Um, some dark fruits. Um, raisins, plums. Um, they said maraschino cherries. I'm getting some cherry notes in there too. Some really, really earthy, grainy notes. Um, uh, some heavy, like, uh, heavy bread, bread-like notes, um, caramel, uh, maybe a little vanilla, uh, 
it starts with the with the with the caramel malts, but you get you getting uh, like a like a sweet syrup smell, uh, sour fruity notes. Um, wow, smells really good. So let's get a taste on it. Okay, now I'm getting some uh, citrus notes right up front. Uh, maybe with a little uh, pepper and. Uh, Maybe like a like an orange marmalade um, on top of uh, like uh, on top of toffee or something. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, toffee's from the malt, but a lot of toffee in here, a lot of maltiness, um, a lot of fruitiness. Kind of leads into a, like a, a sweet nuttiness and uh, some caramel notes and. Some really um, earthy, dark bitterness towards the finish. Um, that may be, may be re remnants of, of the hops. Um, I'm sure there's not a lot left after, after two years. Um, a lot of dark fruit, some candy sugar. Yeah, finish kind of brings up like a moderate um, citrusy, hoppy bitterness. Um, Got some grassy and earthy notes to it too, but um, not a lot of hops left in this. Um, it uh, it warms a bit too. You can uh, you can feel the alcohol there on the finish. Um, you can't really uh, can't really taste it. Um, eight and a half percent. You can't really taste it, but um, it's there on the finish. That's for sure. Um, It's a fuller body, not not maybe not quite not a full body, but a fuller body. Got kind of an oily texture, and there's some uh, like lingering ca uh, carbonation there that kind of tingles on the back of the tongue. Um, and there's a small uh, small amount of drying, probably from that uh, eight and a half percent ABV there on the on the finish. Um, Nice taste in Old Ale for so far, so let me sit, I'll sip on this, watch some more football, I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back, um, watch, just finished watching the third quarter of the uh, Auburn-Missouri game, it's still an intense game, uh, Auburn's up 45-42, hell of a game, but uh, wow, um, everything, it, everything I was hoping for, uh, so about the Fullers, at least 20, the 2011 two-year-old version of their vintage ale. Um, this is a damn good um, old ale. It uh, it uh, definitely is, uh, defines pretty well what a, what an old ale should be. That's for sure. Uh, just a you know, it's a standard for the style. I've never had any of their beers or their of this beer before, so. I'm sure glad I got that other four pack. That's for sure. Um, it's probably not for most palates. Um, you got to really like old ales to, to like this, and that's a style I like. Uh, and this is a treat. That's for sure. Um, it's not quite as good as I'd be been hoping for with all the the reputation and hype that. Uh, that preceded it, but it's still damn good. Um, it's actually, as it's warmed up, and I, it's nearly room temperature now, it wasn't, it never, I've never refrigerated. It's been in the box, and it's been in my dining room, which is, at this time of year, is mostly unheated anyway, so it was probably in the 50s, so it was, it was coolish, but it wasn't cold. Um, but it's warm, uh, room temperature now, um, it's a much better beer when it's when it's warmed up to that maltiness, the fruitiness, all those delicious flavors you look for in an old ale are uh, are really coming out nicely. Um, uh, it, the mouth feels uh, much better too. It's um, it's still thick, but it's not quite as as oily and, and viscous and sticking to your uh, sticking to your mouth like it was. It goes down a little bit smoother, but. Um, this is really nicely balanced uh, throughout. Um, 
the the eight point five percent ABV. Yeah, it's it's a little more noticeable as it's warmed up too, but uh, but not much, not so much on the taste. It's just just on the uh, on the feel as it's going down. Um, darn good, darn good old ale. Um, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna these these four I've got down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna set them back and I'm gonna let them sit for for a good while. I may. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, they say best before something, end of 2014. Uh, they're all end of year beers, so I'm sure that's all they said. So probably three years on all of them. So the 2009 is probably uh, probably a year past its best before date. So uh, uh, I, might, I might give that one a try. I, I know each year is a little bit different, but anyway, i got to get back to the game. So... Um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I you know, the beer hasn't reached its peak, uh, like the brewery says, it's three to four years, this is only two years, so, um, it's darn nice anyway, I'm going to give the 2011 version, two years old at this stage, of the Fuller's Vintage Ale, I want to give, I'm still going to give it a good solid 9.5 out of 10. Give it another year or two. It might be a ten, um, but uh, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set them all back and probably all of them back for another year and just to see how they come out. So nine point five five out of ten for the Fuller's Vintage Ale. So till next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.